What is going on guys, Ollie here, welcome back to another video here on the Stratus channel. Now, before we actually get that far into this video, I know the title says Forza Horizon 4 update. Uh, just to be clear, this is not a Forza Horizon 4 update video because there is no Forza Horizon 4 update. This is actually more of a channel update while playing Forza Horizon 4. I want to clear that up very quickly in the video. I don't want you guys to let me know about that in the comments when I already know exactly what I'm doing. I'm not really here trying to do much wrong or, or make a bad name for myself. So I want to I want to clear that up pretty quickly. Um, but today uh, is a little, a little channel update because I did put up a, a thing speaking a little bit about um, what's going on, uh, just the minimal videos in, in uh, coming days, and um, yeah, I'm you know, making a video here talking about that, and I also want to talk a little bit about uh, the, the transfer market in the Premier League, um, all while playing Forza Horizon 4. Which one am I playing? I'm playing for. I know I'm playing for. Um, we're just going to do some races around the place. Obviously, there's a fair chunk of some stuff to do around in this game already. We're sort of at that point. I actually haven't really played too much more since the last video. Um, so for those who are here for the Forza Horizon 4 video, stick around because there is obviously going to be Forza Horizon 4. This is why I'm, I'm recording this video. And I'm going to get to the point where actually, um, at the moment, the career mode content is exceedingly hard to make. Uh, and I really do apologize for that. Uh, it's obviously not what I want to be doing right now. Is I want to be making my four, uh, Formula 1 career mode uh, videos. Which is something that I've obviously stepped into recently. But uh, I have to let everyone know that uh, yeah, that is actually quite tricky to make at the moment. Um, with the situation that I'm in. And I'm making this sound pretty bad. It's realistically, it's just it's where my equipment is in the house. Um, I probably had a little bit of a rough time with video footage literally being corrupted. Um, and that's not necessarily career mode videos. I just had a couple videos I recorded um, that, well, I didn't re-record, so you got, I can't really say what they were. But um, they they um, were both got corrupted all when exporting the footage file over, like, via transferring it to another computer. So that's the reason uh, at the moment. Um, and I... I yeah, basically I'm going to come up with a bit of a fix for that um, and also just building a bit of a new spot to make videos because obviously I've taken it pretty seriously. Anyway, I'm going to go to this first race and then we're going to have a little bit more of a chat um, and uh, yeah, if you want to like, subscribe uh, because apparently people sometimes forget and they actually do want to and if you don't want to and you're just here for a video, I appreciate you uh, sticking around. Uh, anyway, let's go to this race and um, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Righty. We are here. Let's do it. Let's do the race. Let's go. Alright. Well, the race is underway. Um, so, first thing we're probably going to talk about a little bit is just the channel. Yeah, I'm, I'm super happy um, with the way everything everything is gone. Um, yeah, I think it, it's just gone well. I, I appreciate everyone who's been watching the videos and enjoying them. Um, obviously, this channel has sort of taken a step from uh, a basically just a sim racing channel to being more of a car and, you know, uh, car-based motorsport channel, basically. Motorsport, car-based channel. And I really, really like that, to be honest. It's probably the channel that I dream of making and, and, and living my life around my obsession with cars and motorsport is pretty cool. But another thing I love doing is living my life around um, AFL, Aussie Rules, uh, a lot of other sports, Premier League uh, as well. So I do actually have a second channel um, that doesn't really get posted too much uh, at all. Uh, but it is it is a plan to bring that. And uh, the idea with that is actually to bring more corners of the internet to give me more of a chance to succeed at YouTube. Um, so yeah, I'm taking probably a few risks. I know a lot of people say find your niche and stick to it. Um, realistically, my niche is obs obsessing with lots of different things. Um, my main passion, probably cars, has always sort of been that. Um, but I also have a passion of, of, of Liverpool and the Adelaide Crows and, and, and many, many more things. So give me a little bit more of a, of a chance to make some more of that content as well as do roleplay um, in like Red Dead Redemption and stuff like that as well, which um, is something I've always looked at doing. And I feel like I could create some pretty great character um, stories and, and hopefully you guys would enjoy that. Um, Another thing, uh, studios moving, basically the, this room that we're in, both sim racing and these videos will be recorded in here, 
uh, I'm basically moving rooms, um, and it gives me a little bit more of a spot to make a better background, a little bit more of a, a better recording space, which just sort of means better, better videos, um, and that's another part, main big reason that, you know, at the moment I feel pretty in a bit of a rough spot when it comes to making videos. I feel like I don't have the right spots to do it. I know a lot of people say just do it, but it feels like, you know, I like being in a room that I've, I've sort of you know, done myself. And I really like the room that I've made many a sim racing video in before and built the channel out of sort of that room. I'm ready to sort of um, go a little bit bigger, I guess. And yeah, um, but yeah, so basically we're moving and that also means that's going to take a number of weeks to get everything sorted out from this room into another room and get my stuff into this room basically. Um, but that also means the channel's going to slow down a little bit for just a small amount of time. But we do win this race and um, yeah, basically it means the channel will, will probably slow down for a little bit. But I'm going to pick it right back up. Like I said, I'm having a proper go at it. Um, you know, at YouTube and succeeding in YouTube. Um, let's see what we get in here in the spin. Do we get anything good? We're probably not going to get anything good, realistically. Uh, well, there was $90,000 above that, and a combi right below it, and we get the horn. That's about how gambling goes. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening with the channel stuff. Now, in terms of videos, like, what, quickly, like, in terms of what videos I'm actually gonna, like, be making, um, probably a little bit more Forza Horizon 4 for probably the foreseeable few weeks in terms of the only content I'll really be able to make. Um, and then, uh, I'm gonna probably make a big move into giving, I'm like, I'm excited for this. Running my own um, Formula 1 team in the new F1 Manager game. That was something I'm very, very exciting about. Excited about. Um, and the iRacing is, yes, it is going to return to this channel. It's also going to be on the second channel as well. Um, so I'm going to stay with my iRacing. I, I love that that sim. Um, all the F1 career mode videos will, will come probably every few weeks at that point. Or every other week or every week or whatever when I want to make them. Realistically, I actually, those are the videos I... I, I least enjoy making just because I'm not overly good at that game but um you know I do like doing career mode based content probably more like sitting down like this perhaps maybe not even on the rig um but yeah um again I wanted to talk a lot about uh you know my channel in this video so this is not necessarily a normal Forza Horizon 4 um playthrough you know send off for the game but that is exactly what we're doing here anyway anyway um yeah I guess uh we talked a little bit about that um, I'm gonna go do another race here. Which one should we do? We'll do a circuit race. We'll go up here. Go ahead and do that one. Um, and I guess we'll see you once we get there. We might continue talking about the channel, or we might continue talking about some other topics that are probably on my mind a little bit at the moment, as I want to sort of just give my opinion on them. And to be honest, I think this sort of makes the Forza Horizon 4 videos maybe more more interesting, but uh, I guess it, it sort of eliminates the, the factor for shorts, which is a big thing. Um, in these videos is always have an opportunity to make a short in the long video, but I guess not to be. Anyway, I'll see you once I get to the race. I used to play on max difficulty, so this hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. Um, um, oh dear. Fat drift. Anyway, so with the channel stuff, um, yeah, I think I sort of about where it's at, just sort of you know, adjusting to that car, um, car and, and career mode based and, and sim racing content. It's sort of just a car motorsport channel, I guess. Um, and the same channel is sort of sport, uh, games, and yeah, I, I guess a bit of extra stuff that the main channel has, but over on the second, if that makes sense. Um, that's sort of the idea. But another thing that's been on my mind is this transfer news. I'm a big Liverpool supporter, and I think the transfer market has probably been the most stressful one I can ever remember. Um, if you're a Liverpool fan, please, you know, let me know what you think of, um, this, all the transfer news. I personally think, um, it's a bit of a joke. I think we should have signed Nico Williams quite some time ago. Um, I, I mean, that's just, I guess I'm sort of biased because I'm a big fan of Nico Williams and, and I mean, Um, perhaps I should, perhaps I'm maybe not ready for the difficulty change. I think I probably overestimated my current skill level to my past skill level. Uh, oopsie daisy. But, um, yeah. Um, I personally think this Liverpool news is, is a complete joke. Um, oh dear. I mean, personally, I think it's just because I really want Nico Williams. I'm a fan of Nico Williams, big time. I like the way he plays. 
Um, and traditionally, I don't mind the clubs he plays for either. I mean, I don't, I obviously, I much prefer. I'm a Liverpool supporter. A Liverpool supporter through and through. So obviously, if he played at Liverpool, makes him probably one of my favourite players ever. Um, but yeah, he's a good player. And, and there's a possibility of him coming to Liverpool. That's stressing me out a little bit. I want, I want to either no, yes or no. And realistically, I've seen a lot of things to go yes, but I've also seen a lot of things for him to go to Barcelona, which would probably make a lot of sense. Uh, but I saw a lot of rumours around like Nico Williams um, that Barcelona players were getting angry at the fact that he was going to Liverpool. Uh, and I, well, you know, realistically, that could all be BS, and it probably is. Um, God damn it. Um, but, you know, that's filled me with a little bit more hope. Look, I've got no idea. The media will write what the hell the media wants to write. Um, but I, I really like, you know, Nico Williams. Um, when we come to Liverpool, I feel like if we sign anyone other than him for left midfield, like a, a left midfielder, um, we we're, it's just not worth our money. We're looking at spending a lot of money on a... On a um, what's his face? Uh, I just forgot his name. But looking at spending quite a bit of money on on him um, and I want to be realistic that he's not going to be worth anywhere near the amount of money that Nico Williams is, is worth um, so yeah it's disappointing um, I just think we're screwing up the transfer market to be completely honest and, yeah you know Liverpool just don't screw it up and I'll be completely fine anyway let's uh, talk a little bit about Forza oh no I actually assumed it was going to go into a cutscene for some reason um, but let's talk a little bit about Forza here, or not even talk about it, let's just do it. Let's go to the next season, qualify for Horizon Spring. Frame slightly not ideal there. Oh, here we go. I'm this close to putting you on the Horizon roster, but I feel like I might Ooh. require just a tiny bit more convincing first. Well... It just so happens that we're preparing for our huge spring showcase coming up, and I'm looking for a driver to take part in it. Impress me out there, and I'll see what I can do. Well, looks like I'm going to do some spring stuff, uh, and then sort of see how it goes, like, in, in the in the off-season, I guess. Uh, <laughs> what? Look, Liverpool, Premier League, it's in my head, off-season. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll just do some stuff, um, you know, off camera, I think, probably. Um, realistically, um, video is going to be slightly delayed, but I am going to probably do another Forza video in the coming weeks, uh, probably in a week's time from this one. Um, and hopefully I get some shorts. I just want to keep the channel active because once I go dormant for a, for a little while, it screws up everything i just feel that you know with small channels you know when you have a small run of views things just keep going, getting out there you know the you know, a nice little train and um that's what i'm trying to continue here um but nonetheless it is probably time for me to end the video i hope you have enjoyed it um i hope that you understand why the lack of videos are and i hope you understand why it's only forza at the moment and i know it's forza Horizon four but again this is the send-off series for the game i'm be i'm doing the community a favor here by giving the game which i love a lot is a send-off um yeah i guess you know this is pretty cool uh i'm gonna have to go play some more uh and uh probably edit this video but anyway guys thank you so much for watching come back next time for more i'll see you then goodbye